We're at Adam Chera, pre-season games start later this month. How's it all ramping up? Yeah, it's ramping up really well. Um, the group's been really excited, um, getting more into some match play sort of drills in training and the intensity is really ramping up. So yeah, all the boys are really excited. It's your third pre-season. Anything different or similar about this one that you've had in previous ones? Uh, Injury-free pre-season, which has been great. So um, yeah, I feel like I'm the fittest and strongest I've been since being at the club. So um, yeah, really looking forward to finishing off well and getting stuck in the season. Where spending most of your time training this preseason? Uh, mostly in the midfield. Um, so yeah, Justin's uh, really strong on you know us, the midfield group bonding a really strong bond and working together, um, whether that's inside in the meetings, um, in gym or on the track. So um, yeah, we're building a really strong group in there. How have you found it working with Justin, the new coach? Yeah, it's been great. Um, it's been a fresh new change, um, another perspective on football and um, yeah, I think everyone's really enjoying his, his company and um, you know, the way he coaches is you know, really encouraging and um, creates a really good environment. It's looking like we're gonna miss Monday for the start of the season. Have the young guys spoken about how there's probably gonna be a need for, for everyone to step up to fill that void? Uh, I've probably not spoken about it. I think it's just expected. Um, I think in the AFL community, everyone knows it's this next man in um, and they're expected to play their role. So. Not much changes, just you know, someone else will come in and um, you know, we'll, we'll surely miss him and we'll want him back as soon as possible, but um, yeah, next guy in. Yeah. It is unfortunate that he's not there, but it's got to be exciting for you guys to have that opportunity. Yeah, definitely. We've got a really young group um, at the moment, so you know, for someone else to get an opportunity, uh, it's really exciting for them. We've got Nat just off camera here what, watching the interview. You spent a bit of time with him at the end of training with Connor as well. What were you guys going over? Uh, yeah, it's going over a bit of body work and stoppage stuff, so you know, we try and, us young bucks try to pick his brain whenever possible and he's nice enough to sell for what he's got. So He's trying to take uh, the main hit to spot off me and wants me to just play a defensive cover role. So. I think we need to change it up sometimes. We've got some so. work to do. <laughs> he's a two-time Brownlee medalist, obviously it's great to yeah, have like that to, to, to learn off. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's, especially having a young group and him and David are oldest by by a bit in that group, so um, they're always willing to help out, and whether that's on the field or off the field, um, they're always there if you need. The talk's always around like you and Brayshaw coming up through the midfield, but we got guys like Luke Valente who's returning back to training, Caleb Sarong's also, and there's quite a lot of others. How, how's like Luke going at the moment? He's yeah, back up. yeah, Luke's definitely running back up. He's obviously had a really tough run with injuries, but um, at the moment I think he's doing the you know, majority of training and a bit of match play, so it's really good to see him back out there. It looks like he's really enjoying it and. Hopefully he can have a, a really good year with no injuries. What, what can he bring to the midfield group? What kind of players he? Oh, he adds, you know, injects a bit of class into the game, I'd say. He's elite both sides of the body and um, really got a really good game sense. So um, yeah, he's a really valuable, valuable player to us. And um, Luke Ryan's back out of training as well today. How did he go? Yeah, he's going really well, Luke. Um, always good to have his vibe out there on the ground. Um, and yeah, he's still doing them. Incredible things he's been doing the last two years, so you know, rolling off, um, you know, being really courageous, going back with packs, and uh, it's really good to have a play like that out on your team.